Hello, this is Maggie. Today I'll be talking about Chiron going into Aries. It's an asteroid. Uh, it has a very erratic, wobbly orbit, and it spends, well, it's been in Pisces for the last seven years, and it spends most of its time um, in Aries and Pisces. It's because it's you know, it just has such an erratic, wobbly kind of orbit. Uh, yeah, so April 2018, um, actually on the 17th is when Chiron goes into Aries. It will retrograde back into Pisces um, a lot. So we're going to, it will be Aries, Pisces, you know, for, for years. I'm, I'm not going to name all the retrogrades, um, but... It will just be going back and forth you know, between Aries and Pisces. So um, yeah, so it's very significant generationally, you know, for, for seven years. Um, Aries, Aries is very pioneering and original and there's all kinds of rebellions going on um, now and those will heat up, you know, um, and there's been a lot of healing, you know, with Chiron and Pisces, all kinds of um, alternative healing will come up. So we'll still be feeling a lot of the Pisces, well, it's the wounded healer, you know, so um, yeah, a lot of deep wounding has been coming up, you know, with our country, within ourselves to be healed. And people are using, you know, this wisdom to 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 heal. Um, when it goes into Aries, it will be about the individual. Um, so, if you have a lot of planets in Aries anyway, because it, it is the wounded healer. So sometimes, you know, say natally, if you have um, Chiron and Aries in your chart, it might just. Um, your, your self-esteem or your ego, you, you may feel like you can't present it as strongly as you can, as, as you could, you know, as an Aries, but um, that's, so that's something that you would have to work on. But if you have a lot of other planets in Aries, that would just sort of overcome that. And, um, but there will be a lot of, um, just a lot of, a lot of, I was going to say a lot of revolutions, you know, um, and there are, there are, it's, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to go back to 1968, 1968, 1969, there was, and I, there was a lot of civil unrest, there was the Vietnam War, there was, um, you know, civil rights going on, uh, to, Harlem might have been burning, not Harlem, Watts, the Watts riots, uh, yeah, racial tension and strife, the Vietnam War, uh, just a lot of rebellion. And, and so, you know, women's liberation, that's where it started and kind of went away and now it's coming back and, you know, so it's, you know, just gender equality. Um, so all that started, you know, in the 60s, if you, <coughs> if you probably haven't been alive that long, but if you lived through the 60s or 70s, um, you'll remember what it was like. And, you know, it was, it was like free love and, you know, flower power and the, the hippies and, you know, it was all love and peace. But at the same time, there was revolution and, you know, the Black Panthers and the Angela Davis and, um, you know, um, in Ohio, they were the National Guard, you know, they were rioting. Um, they weren't, no, it was, it was actually a peaceful student protest, um, probably protesting the, the war or something. And, um, yeah, so the, the, they sent in the National Guard and just mowed some students down, shot them, um, you know, in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, there's, 
makes a song, uh, Four Dead in Ohio, by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's going on today, you know? I mean, it's just that revolution, um, evolution. Aries is all about evolution. It's, it's, it's uh, being your unique, independent, it wants freedom, independence, and rebellion. It's, it's quite a rebel. Um, so on the collective scale, we're, we're seeing that now. We're seeing that now with, um, you know, marches on Washington. And people just, you know, to me, it seems like people have been so passive, so passive. You know, it's like, don't the millennials or anybody have any kind of a cause that they can step up for? Because I just really haven't seen anything since, you know, since then. Really, except Occupy Wall Street. I mean, that was a major, major event. Uh, you know. The, the, so now I believe we're, you know, we're, we're coming into that now with um, just all kinds of, all kinds of uh, people. People. The, it's all about the individual, and the individual is standing up, and they're, they're no longer being passive. You know, they were being a little passive, you know, when it was in Pisces, and it was all about uh, interior healing, you know, just, but now it's about fighting for your rights, assert, ego assertion, um, you know, it's, 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 it's not about a revolution, I mean, I'm not, I'm not I t you know, I certainly don't want a revolution, but you know, people do want change. And Aries can be a leader, it can be a pioneer, and it could be um, extremely headstrong. It's ruled by Mars. So, um, yeah, so this is a really good thing. This is a really good thing, although there may be some civil unrest. But um, if you look at the results of the civil unrest, like like in 68, 70, you know, the Vietnam War and um, the racial tension and, you know, there were, there were some resolution to these problems, you know, but it took years. It took years and years and years. And we're, we still have the same problems today. And, and so today, one of them, one of them is, is gun control in our country. And that's uh, March in Washington. I believe on the 24th, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, Chiron and Aries, is, it's going to, it's just a huge, huge event in, in the evol evolution, it's a spiritual evolution in Pisces, as well as in Aries, and they're so close together, you know, the 12th house and the first house. Um, and it's going to retrograde back and forth. Um, so, you know, the other signs, it doesn't spend as much time as in Aries and Pisces. So it just has some very, very important evolutionary work to do there. Um, and that's to make people aware. And so it's all about the individual. It's, so it's gonna be the individual rising up, uh, you know, on, on a collective scale though, um, or individually in their own life, just asserting their individuality or asserting their, their rights, their personality or fighting for justice or, um, a cause, you know, Aries loves the underdog, you know, um, so fighting for a cause. Um, yeah, and so, you know, it, it's going to be very significant. Um, and really, you know, nobody can predict, nobody can predict how it will play out, you know, you can just name all the Aries traits and you know but that's not but it does spend a dis, disappro, dis, 
proportionate amount of time in Aries and in Pisces, and it, it pretty much bulges our collective awareness, and that's what it's trying to do. And, you know, it, it may be painful. It's revealing individual wounds. Um, you know, in the case of Aries, it would be the, the ego or the, the self, personal self, um, the individual. Um, and in Pisces, it's, you know, it's spirituality and, you know, healing, and, um, just transformation. I mean, everything is just blended and mutated into to Pisces, you know. Um, it's universal, universal love and service and humanity. And so Aries and Pisces are going to be sort of like blending together. And, you know, it's going to go back and forth, back and forth, but it's... Yeah, so the majority of the time it'll be in Aries and we'll go back into Pisces. So we collectively really need to learn these lessons about it's going to be just about um, fundamental basis is love, understanding, and compassion. That would be the Piscean side of the equation. The Aries side of the equation is action, liberation, freedom, rebellion. You know, we're not going to take it anymore. We're going to step up and do something. So, you know, it, it has been uh, pretty passive, I, I believe, in, in, in Pisces. And I really haven't seen people stand up on, the, you know, 1968 is the one that stands out to me. I mean, that's, they were just like, uh, you know, marches in Berkeley and all, all the, campuses and you know they were calling out the National Guard and, um, but they were peaceful demonstrations and the government just came down really really hard on them and so with this whole lineup in in Capricorn and it's square to Aries so it square to it'll be square in Chiron and Aries so you know it's it's kind of a, a square is a 90 degree challenging aspect and so the square could represent you know authority or the government or or it could just be um, you can look at it Saturn Saturn's very at home in, in Capricorn that's its that's its sign so you could look at it um, say individuating your career that that got taken away, maybe you were fired, you know, because Pluto's been in Capricorn, and, and, or maybe some kind of a loss you had to endure, and you have to start all over. So, because it is square to Aries, it will give you energy for a new beginning, and because Chiron is in Aries, um, you know, that could help you as well. It, it will just challenge you as well, you know challenge you to work harder. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> nobody really knows how this will play out, but I I kind of feel like I feel I kind of feel like we're we're feeling it now, you know, especially with the uh, people standing up, you know, the gun control issue in Washington and many other issues. You know, we've had police brutality racial issues, um, you know, the dreamers, it's just so much stuff coming on. And, um, but as long as there are peaceful protests and as long as the government doesn't clamp down and get, you know, authoritarian, um, because, um, so Chiron in Aries is just, I believe teaching us to individuate and to maybe maybe um, learn how to be your own unique self. And when Uranus goes into Taurus any minute, you know, in May, um, it's going to be all about the Earth and you know, um, 
growing your own food, maybe, you know, um, maybe more volcanoes, earth-related events, you know, earthquakes, volcanoes. Um, yeah. E Elon Musk, you know, I just watched his latest video and it was, uh, it was about colonizing Mars after World War III breaks out and, you know, growing seeds, you know, taking them. That just makes me think of Uranus and Taurus. So he's, you know, taking seeds to, you know, keep civilization alive. So, you know, worst case scenario, um, you know, is just uh, with Uranus in Taurus, it'll be, uh, the currency will probably change. It'll be back, back to the earth. Um, new ways of growing food, a, a very strong interest in, in food. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is this is about Chiron. People are very excited about Chiron, but it's just, <coughs> it's just going to be a huge evolutionary leap for this generation. They're going to remember it like I remember 68, 70. Uh, you know, that was when we had Jimi Hendrix, we had Janis Joplin, we had uh, just so many rock stars that just, you know, the 27 Club that they all OD'd, and, um, you know, and now there's the opioid epidemic, you know, it's just everything's kind of coming full scale. And so the, the drugs, you know, that would be Chiron and Pisces. And so now, you know, the government is trying to deal deal with that, but um, yeah. So there's just all kinds of wounds for Chiron to heal, and you know, teach us lessons, and um, yeah, it's very interesting, and only time will tell. And um, I just pray that everyone will have peaceful revolutions. You know. Um, because they were peaceful, you know, in Berkeley, I mean, I lived in the Bay Area at the time. And there are, however, a lot of anar anarchists that live in, you know, <coughs> like when you go to a rally in the city in San Francisco and every anarchist from all over just shows up, you know, that it's not even remotely related to the cause. So just you really want to be aware of that um, because certainly it's about the individual Indivi individuating throughout the collective. And the collective would be all the stuff in Capricorn could be the collective, you know, because we do have to live in, in a society. So we have to individuate in a society. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, there's, there's some rebellion a bit against the... Um, some of the, the corruption, you know, the corruption in, in our society that needs to be changed. And Aries is up for it. They're always up for a challenge and, and to fight for the underdog and to, to change and to liberate. And so, and then back to Pisces for, <laughs> for more spiritual healing and then back into Aries, with, you know, the fight's on again. So the fight for freedom, freedom from oppression and, uh, and, you know, um, yeah, I don't really want to get into politics. Uh, yeah, but that will be addressed too, I'm sure. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.